No, it ain't got that far yet. A couple more sunspots it might be, you know. That's what them solar flares are about, see? They're trying to warm up the black hole. <laughs> they're trying to make a black hole. No. I think Satan did that shit. <laughs> Sucked everything up, you know. He likes everything. But he fucking threw me back. And oh, why? Why? What did I do? Hey, he's afraid I'll take over. <laughs> I told Get out of here. <laughs> I told you, the more you complain, the longer God lets you live. No. If you want to get to heaven, you got to raise a little hell. <laughs> it's a song. <laughs> it's a song. It's the truth. And I'm going to die laughing and keep on raising a little hell. I'm a merry prankster. Mm. They fuck with my money. They fuck with my wallet. They fuck with my... No, I don't have a bank account, so they can't fuck with that. <laughs> they fuck with everything else in general. So, what merry it? pranksters... Do the same thing to them. What are you going to do about me? Huh? What are you going to do? What the hell are you going to do about me? I don't want to cooperate with Nazi, commie, mafias, and pirates. I just thought that kind of guy. I like my weed. I like my beer. I'm Irish. I'm already dead. You can't kill me. I just won't lay down. I'm back. <laughs> Make me a copy. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna. I want to send it to Michael Moore. And, and, you know, what, what do you want to tell Michael Moore? A copy of this. And, and hey, John Stewart. Boy, have I got news for you. Let's party. <laughs> and hurry the hell up. And get rid of that Colbert, will you? Minga. He makes me gag. <laughs> I like Colbert. <laughs> Somebody better whack Colbert and fix the ears so they match. <laughs> the guy looks like a spook. A Twilight Zone fantasy, I think that's what he is. He just talks too fucking much. <laughs> well, so do a lot of people. <laughs> like who, <Ujo. laughs> Joe? Yeah, like, like, like me, see? He had me on the, on the phone for four hours the other night. See, days. I don't keep track, man. My ear I was hate, very sweaty. Hate. Lisa, I gave up time and space a long time ago. I'm going to go meet a little space, you know, and hope the hell I get out before the worms get me. <laughs> I hope I get out before the worms get me. Look at my roof up there that Ken fixed. Look at, look at on the top. Now it's going to cost me 200 bucks to do it again. But this little one on this side? Yeah, that little one over there with all the rumple crumple stuff. Leaking all the over my toilet. You get afraid to go in there. <laughs> no, I am. I hear you. Come on, I've had three pans in there, and guess what? You know what freaks me the most? That light in the center is leaking right. And if it hits them wire shirts, it out blow the fucking fuses. And then, hey. Blowing insulation, it's right above the friggin' toilet. Don't look up, you see that bubble, you ain't gonna wanna sit on the toilet. That's gonna burst one day. Heavy, wet insulation. And I can't get no help, I can't get nothing done. I can't afford, can't afford to buy anything. It was coming out like... <laughs> Three of them at once, she was being attacked by maple seeds. Oh yeah, they've been all over hell. I already and, got hey, smoked by one. Hey, in my front yard, I'm getting pine sap and all the shit coming off the pine tree, and out here, I get. Hey, when I come out here, the head, this whole glass table was covered with them. I mean, I've been brushing and cleaning stuff, just trying all day. It took me from seven o'clock in the morning to wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow. And you wanna, ha you wanna have a real trip in a rush, huh? Both of you, you wanna have a trip? I got the camper door in. Just take a walk. Remember when we used to party in here? Go take a peek in there now. You can barely move. All the way up to the door, movies, boxes of movies. CDs, I got about 10,000 blues. Hey, Lisa, you just say, hey, Joe, may one of them fly up your notes. <laughs> may one of them fly up your notes. Oh, I, I just got to, you know, it's hard to concentrate. 
my my brain goes faster than my body can keep up with. It's fun if I could just get the body to work. Then everything is cool. But body quitting is the quitting. So I need a transplant of everything. <laughs> Transplant of everything. That's what you go to heaven for. Then you don't need well, that. Well, no. no. But they won't take in heaven until you stop seeing the GD word like a million times a day. No, I don't believe really in a heaven. Or there is a hell. And the hell is. Right. See, everybody gets reincarnated. Like you can come back as a frog, I believe. But <laughs> and somebody you, will hey, listen, like you. When you when you die, you're you're you're. Your brain, every person has a spirit. That spirit is electrical. And boom, you're into the space. And that spirit goes to the central computer and you get redistributed to boom. It's like random lottery. Boom, you're over here. You're a frog today, you're a goat tomorrow. Hey, and, and some people, the lucky ones, get to come back to the same place. See, when I started this trip, I was first an Indian, got killed by the white man, and then I was in the Civil War, got blowed all the hell, and this time I come back as a hippie, and I ain't gonna lay down. Fuck you. <laughs> I won't lay down. Hey. better send this to High Times Magazine. No, hey, Michael Moore would love it, and so would John Stewart. They would love it. They wouldn't be able to broadcast it, but it'd give them a clue, Dick Tracy. You missed me. Where have you been? I got news for you. Michael, you're the greatest. Thanks for getting ass, getting bushy. The bushwhackers, bushites. You attack the bushites. And the fucker's still walking around collecting goddamn tax money. Huh? There you go again. And, and get, he's getting all this money. And he was a fucking criminal. He's a criminal. He, he committed high crimes and treason. They were Nazis. They tortured people. They took all our rights away. And they're still walking around cooking on a Texas barbecue. Hey, we got an oil problem. Yeah, the British did it. <laughs> They're jealous. British did it. And they did, uh, did our asses in. Well, I would like to see the wind shift right now. Hurricane come up. And take all that oil and blow it away from Florida, Louisiana, and dump it all on Texas. Let's grease Texas and hope we can get in, inland far enough and grease down George Bush's ranch. Let's get George's ranch and grease that son of a bitch and hope we drown him in some British oil. <laughs> it used to be, see, uh, yeah, it's American oil, but the British, I don't know how the hell the British got our oil, but they're selling it to us, you know. It's wheeling and dealing in Washington, and they can't control their brains and what they do and what they build. Too many spies. Arabs, it had to be the Arabs. Oh, yeah. They'll blame everything on the Arabs. The guy that made that piece that didn't work, he was an Arab. Yeah, yeah. But let's grease Texas. I just love that. Well, let's go to a great worldwide concert. And we hang. Bush. Cheney and Rumsfeld, we have a hanging in downtown Austin, Texas. We have a national lottery to see who gets wins to get the polar chain. Now that would be worldwide event. Because there ain't nobody in this whole planet that likes this country because of Mr. George Bush. Obama, if you take and turn George Bush inside out, you got Mr. Obama. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, boy. I 
contacted the FBI. Somebody robbed my house. <laughs> huh? Somebody robbed my house. The president's coming to Buffalo. They stole a damn bad gun. I mean, a mini 14, 40 round magazine. I called the FBI. I said, hey, Lee, Agent Anna, guess what? It happened again. Who are you? I'm the last guy that you talked to when I had a problem in Bellanova with corruption. Oh, it's you. I said, yes. Well, it didn't end. This time there's a gun loaded, and it could be in Buffalo. I don't want my gun to shoot the president, and these Keystone cops I have here in Chautauqua County, you tell them who took it, and they can't even get it. Hey, call them up and tell them to go to work, or just stop their paychecks until they find the gun. It could be in Mexico, you know. I can't afford to get there. I ain't taking a plane, train, or automobile, so see if you can find the gun, would you please? hung up. So, I haven't been arrested. They should all be out working trying to find it. The president made it. Nobody shot at his ass. And a million billion people want to. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And we have no justice department. The guy he put in charge of the, uh, you know, Justice? Well, he looks like a cartoon character. And that son of a bitch ain't got enough brains in him as a lawyer that he hasn't arrested Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld. So, so much for justice. The guy don't do shit but sit on his ass and look for Arabs. Too many criminals in this country, buddy. Let's start getting some of these boys. And the double, coming soon, the devil's going to take a shit for you. <laughs> Coming soon, <laughs> on your next movie, the devil will take a crap for you. <laughs> yes, sir, he will. And you ain't going to believe what the devil eats. <laughs> Oil. Huh? Oil. Politicians. <laughs> yeah. I think every one of them guys up there in Washington, there's so many of them, I think they've all been eaten already. <laughs> and they got spit out. <laughs> and they put them in power to make laws. And they're brain dead. Or they're... Well, they could have been replaced by aliens that just look like them. Well, I, I wish it was aliens, but we got, the mob got us. When they killed John Kennedy, we lost our country. Mob took over. Mob killed them. Between the mob and the CIA, see, the mob ended up owning the CIA for favors. So the mob got to tell the CIA what to do, and they said, hey, this Kennedy sucker, do him. And then they tried to blame it on Castro. Uh, well, Life is fun. It's called Obla Di Obla Da. Life goes on. Yes. Which way did the cooler go? Thank <laughs> you. Oh, oh man, I gotta get, get up. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get up though. Bye. Because I got open it. It's your bed.